Hey family, it's the Mobile Home Diva. And in today's video, I am touring the Big Easy. Now this home is out at Clayton Homes in Wilmington, North Carolina. Listen, I can't wait to show you this home. This home is absolutely beautiful. Let's get into the video. All right, y'all, this is the Big Easy. This home is huge, okay? I can't wait to show it to you. I love the blue. I love the shutters in this home, but I don't want to talk too much about the back. I would say that I would have a huge front porch to match the size of this home, but I am more interested in what the inside looks like. So this is what you see when you enter the home. We're going to take a look at every area, but you guys, this is where you enter into the living room. Huge space, love the entryway because you've got enough room to put whatever decor you want here and still have space for a walkthrough. So really lovely. So this is your front door. And then over here is your living room area, okay? So they have a nice size sectional, not the big, biggest sectional, but not the smallest, okay? So you've got lots of room for whatever size furniture you have. Really lovely. Love that there's a ceiling fan in here. Love the amount of space that you have in this room. Just really beautiful. Beautiful, huge space. Big easy. It is definitely the big easy, okay? So that is your living room. And then let's talk about the dining room first. In front of your sliding glass doors, you have space for a dining room. It's funny, in the last tour, I was talking about how everybody loves the square or rectangular tables and i think that a round table would look good in certain spaces and they have a round table in this area and i think it's perfect now this only seats four you know it depends on what size family as to what you would personally do but i, I think this round table is a nice touch in this space really nice so that is your dining room area and then next to the dining room is your kitchen love the simple pendant lighting the large island you could probably put three or four bar stools depending on how they're made really nice so these are similar to ours they're a little more fancier than mine and they've got two here so you could probably stick two more in there. Really nice, really nice. All right, let's take a closer look at the kitchen. You've got a built-in uh, microwave here, large industrial sink, drawers and cabinet space. Really nice. Soft clothes, really nice. All right, I absolutely love this kitchen. You have the ceramic top stove in here. Really nice. Let's take a look at the cabinets. Ooh, large, lots of space in these cabinets. Really nice. Now you only have two of the, you only have three of the tall ones, but you have all of this other cabinet space in here. So really nice. Storage space up there. Beautiful. Your pantry's over here, off the kitchen. This is all pantry. That door actually closes. So you've got privacy. If your pantry isn't all the way put together, you can absolutely close this door if you've got company. But you've got all of that space in there for pantry. And then off the kitchen right here, you've got your laundry room. Now this one doesn't have a door. You do have a window that opens and then your washer and dryer go there. Really nice. Your AC unit goes in here and then you got this little cubby back there. Does it have a plug? I don't see a plug back here, but you can put some shelving or something there if you want to use that space for extra storage. So that's your laundry room. 
really nice love it so again this is your living room here your kitchen and dining room and then off the dining room is a bonus room now you can again it doesn't have to be what i say it is man cave den family room playroom multi-purpose room whatever you want it to be love it two living rooms you can say this is the second living room it's really up to you but this is a nice area where one area could be more formal maybe off the kitchen could be more of a formal living room area and this could be more of the lounge area for the family if you choose very nice so love this bonus room here and then i love how you can see straight through so through the dining room into the kitchen so just think about when you're entertaining how much space people have to kind of mill around and if you're working in the kitchen you can see everybody see everything that's going on in the house so i'm standing here prepping i've got folks in the living room sitting at the dining room table and also back there people going in and out of the sliding gas doors onto the patio i can look out the window and see what they're doing on the patio what the kids are doing and i don't feel like i'm isolated from whatever is going on in the house that's what i appreciate about this space so very good now through the bonus room, you have the additional bedroom. So we'll go check them out. Right here, you have bedroom number one. Nice size bedroom here. All the smoke detectors at this location are going off. I'm sorry, you guys. Every home, they're going off. You've got a standard closet over there. And you've got all of this bedroom space as bedroom number one. Really nice. All right, so that's bedroom number one. And then you've got your guest bathroom here. Love the countertops, go with the kitchen. Really nice, you got a tub shower combo over there really nice guest bedroom and then here's bedroom number two looks to be a little bigger than the first bedroom we saw this one has a walk-in closet i would probably bring the shelving around to this wall to maximize the space but you got a nice walk-in closet and again this is the bedroom, so really nice. So that's two bedrooms that we've seen so far. Again, it's off the bonus room. So you've got this little cubby here off the bonus room that has two bedrooms and a bath. And then down this hall, you have another bathroom. So this is another bathroom that looks into this bed, that goes into this bedroom. So I could imagine if, if maybe I had two kids and a parent living with me, then this could be the parent's room because they have their own bathroom, which is always nice. Or guests could use this room because they'd have their own bath. So this is your second bathroom. And then this is your third bedroom, which seems to be a little bigger than the last one. So very nice. Again, that's the door to the bathroom. And then this one also has a walk-in closet. Lovely. Lovely. So this is the walk-in closet. Again, I would put shelving on this wall as well. Maximize the space. Very nice. So this side of the room, this side of the house has three bedrooms and two baths and a bonus room. Okay. Really lovely. So that's the bonus room and the additional bedrooms. 
really nice. And then right off the living room on this side, you have your master. So this is your master, huge master. Got a ceiling fan in here and two large windows. Love it. Love it. Love it when these windows are oversized because they bring in even more light. Very nice. You got your master closet here, separate from the bathroom, which is always a nice touch. Even though more and more homes are having the closets inside the bath, even stick built homes, it's always nice to see them separate. So all of this space here, you guys, is master closet. Like this closet is huge. I could share. I could share with my husband. Really nice. So that's your master closet. All of that is closet. Very nice. And then next to the closet, you have your master bath. Beautiful double sinks with drawers and cabinets. Really nice. Really nice. Love that they have a stool in here. Got your huge soaker tub. Lots of space for decor and towels. Give it a, a nice spa feel. You've got two windows over the tub that open. These windows open, you guys. Really nice. Got your toilet here. You got you some storage space over here. And you got a nice shower behind the door. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> Opens from here that has seating. Really nice. Really nice. So that is the master bath. Again, this master bedroom is absolutely huge. This home is beautiful. The big easy, you guys. The big easy is four bedrooms, three baths, 2016, 2026 square feet, home only price of 174. 415. Very nice. Very nice. 174, 415. Got questions about this home? You guys know what to do down in the description box. All the information I have on this home is going to be down in the description box. All right. See you guys in the next video.